Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome to Dead Space 3. Didn't know you could do that little trick in the menu, did you? <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> so yes, this is the third and final chapter in the Dead Space trilogy, where we are once again going to play as Isaac Clarke. And there's a lot of things that bear explanation in this one, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and explain those things as we play. Anyways, though, um, before we get started, like always, we'll start with a little bit of a recap that will um, cover not only the events of the last two games, but also the, um, the prologue stuff that happened even before the first game, 200 years ago, when the marker was first discovered. So anyways, enjoy the, the recap. And, uh, I will be back with you when it's over. It all started 300 years ago, with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy, until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the markers are divine and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker-touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. And so that's where our story will begin here in Dead Space 3, is actually um, 200 years in the past on this icy planet where, for the first time ever, someone was able to stop a marker before it activated and caused a necromorph outbreak. So here we get to see what exactly happened that caused this person to stop this marker from going off. Or at least some of it. It's still going to be left a little ambiguous so that certain uh, twists later in the game come as more of a surprise. Uh, but... <clears throat> 
this is a good setup for what's to come. Oh. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Kim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoint to thank you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. So, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? So it's lost. What? Dang it. So, I'm not sure why he took his helmet off for no other reason than to prove to us that this is not Isaac, because, you know, it's 200 years in the past, so of course it's not completely unnecessary, because later in the game, when you come to this planet as Isaac, you actually have to be aware of your, um, your freezing levels. And, um... I mean, you are, like, slowly freezing to death even with this suit on, you know? You gotta get to warm areas to stop okay, it. Okay, You can do this. <laughs> oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. That gun's not even loaded. Well, that's stupid. But also, um, so why would anyone take their helmet off in this weather is beyond me. They should instantly freeze to death if they do. Or at least get a bad case of hypothermia or frostbite or some shit. Especially with how fast you get cold. I know, it's a... Uh, game mechanics don't always fall in line with the cutscenes, I get it. It's like part movie, part game. Anyways, though, this game in particular, out of the entire franchise, unfortunately, is the least popular one. Um, this game has what I am... Please don't get mad, I'm just using this as an example, okay? This game has what I like to call the Resident Evil 6 problem, where it alienated a majority of its fan base by completely changing up um, its style so much, deviating away from horror and close to action, and uh, or be deviating away from horror and becoming hey, action. Doc, I found it. And um, good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. And having, for the most part, a nonsensical plot. Ah, finally, some ammunition. With a lot of holes. It just seems to go, it seems to deviate a little too far from its, uh. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Predecessors, right? Okay, so. Oh, stupid me. Alright. As soon as I open this door, necromorphs are gonna come out, by the way. So, anyways, back to what I was saying, um, and this doesn't necessarily mean, when I say stuff like this, I'm not trying to say that people aren't allowed to like I'm not saying that people aren't allowed to like certain games or anything like that just because they weren't successful. You know? I'm a true believer in TSP subjective and all that, and uh, I am definitely over explaining. And the point I'm trying to make, though, is that. God damn, I cannot get a word out. Gentlemen, please, I'm trying to talk to the audience. <sighs> okay. The thing is, Capcom was able to save their series by. Uh, completely giving it a facelift with the soft reboot that was Resident Evil 7. Uh, where the fuck is it? I hear it, I don't see it. It's up here, isn't it? Pretty sure there was something up there. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I just saw one in the window. But I didn't. 
This game, um, however, the developers of Dead Space Visceral Games, after Dead Space 3, EA basically killed them. I mean, EA bought Visceral Games and then closed them down because Dead Space 3 was technically a commercial failure. That's sad. Considering all of the potential they had from the original, you know? I got it. Doc, I got it. Let's be glad that didn't happen to Resident Evil. Because if it did, we would have never got... If it did, we would have never got the amazing, genius Resident Evil 7. Tim, where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm hanging from the cliff! Uh, where I got whatever this is! The codex! The key to saving everything! Meet me at the silo and don't suffer LB anyone! To jump by the way, when I use examples like that, like I just did with Resident Evil 6, it's not really me giving my personal feelings about it. For the most part, I try to set that stuff aside. Unless, if, if, I mean, if it's, if it's how I feel about it, you're gonna know, because I'll let it be known. But when I'm trying to talk uh, matter-of-factly like this, and uh, having technical conversations for the sake of uh, commentary and stuff like that... Well, in those particular cases, I'm just going off of, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, we gotta be careful while we slide down this hill. Okay. Uh, so, in those cases, I'm just speaking in, like, factual terms, you know? Like... Regardless of whether or not you like the game, this is what happened. That being said, though, you know, uh, I really have no other reason to draw any comparisons besides that, so... Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control! And now, for the love of Earth... ...and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right! You love the Earth, son? Your mom and dad? We yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. stages of it. Alright, so, that was our little flashback in time prologue, way back to even before the first game. Brother, now we get to... The age of man. Fuck this guy in particular, by the way. That asshole right there is the current leader of the Unitologists, and you may remember the Unitologists as being the religious nut job cult Isaac, I that worships that. the Come necromorphs and the martyrs. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? Right, so Isaac and, uh, what was her name? Ellie? Yeah, from the second game. They got together after the events of Dead Space 2, but because of Isaac's emotional trauma, from the events of the first two games and his distance as a result they weren't able to stay together. She just broke up with him. I'm sorry, but he was looking at the door the whole time it opened. How did you get in there? Tim? Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Oh. I don't have 
have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. That guy sounds like J no. uh, Discount John Goodman. I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie, where is she? What did you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them. Captain, run out of time. Gotta go. She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. couple of assholes. So the guy who just walked out, the guy who walked out first works for EarthGov, the same people who kidnapped and tortured Isaac in the second, oh, the beginning of the second game. And now he has to work with the same assholes that he was against in the previous one. The other guy, the one who was holding him down, his name is Carver, and Dead Space 3 added a co-op mode to the game, right? Um... Playback. Hold on. Message 33. Caller, Earthrise Apartment. This message is for the residents of apartment 16. Your rent is past due. This is your final notice. Failing to pay in three days will result in eviction. Well, you know what? It's not about to matter in a few minutes, so <laughs> you can take your rent and shove it up your ass. Okay. I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. You hear that growling? There's a dog in one of these apartments. That's all that is. Don't these apartments kind of remind you of the ones from, uh, what was that game? Observer. Yeah. Except this would have came first, technically. <laughs> That is a, that is one angry doggo. <laughs> He's a pissed off pooch, that's what he is. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, so Dead Space 3 um, was actually designed to be co-op. They added a co-op to this. If you are playing this two player, he, uh, which I think has to be done online by the way, the second player controls Carver and you go through majority of this game together. And you end up both hallucinating different hey. things, seeing each other as different things in guys? some kind of Earth Man Italian. of Madon kind Norton. of way. Captain Robert Norton, Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion, what do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? Those are right, let's go! Go, go! All right, so. Here's one of the first uh, switches in this game that people didn't like. Now, what used to be a game where the main mechanic was cutting off monsters' limbs and using them against them has now turned into an action-focused cover shoot. This feels more like Gears of War and less like Dead Space. I guess I could just run for the car. Oh no, suicide bomber. Well, that was definitely in close enough proximity that we should be dead. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh shit. I didn't realize they were right there. I thought that this was like a run sequence. You'll excuse me while I, uh, reload my gun. Gentlemen. Oh, 
Oh my god. You know what? Come on, let's go fisty bitch. Fucking stupid asshole. Yeah. Yes, I'm satisfied before you even ask. Don't worry, by the way. I promise you I'm not going to spend this entire game harping on the negatives. I know you guys hate when I do that. Hell, I hate when I do that, you know? But I wouldn't be doing my job as a Let's Player if I didn't at least point this shit out. You know what I'm saying? It's like a requirement. That being said, though... These are unitologists! Why are they trying to oh, kill us? Oh, sweet. You! I do have my plasma you. cutter out of What? Get, get out of there! Shut your trap! I didn't realize I had my plasma cutter on me. That's some good shit. Okay, uh... Any items around here? Ammo? Anything like that? Nope, nope. Okay, up the ladder then. So yeah, um, there's actually gonna be... This game actually has a heavier horror focus if you do play it in co-op. Unfortunately, we are not, so Why it's gonna seem more action. You've destroyed markers in the past, I think that makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? Yeah, Ellie well, thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. <laughs> Sounds good to me, homie. Uh, so technically, you're, use your imagination to believe that Carver is with us throughout basically majority of the journey. I mean, he is there. He's not always there there, you know? Like, he's there in cutscenes, but not in gameplay. And if this was co-op, he would be there in the gameplay too, and things would be a little bit different. In some ways, I feel like you don't actually get the full story. They killed her. In some ways, I feel like you don't really get the full story. Unless you uh, play it in co-op, which is kind of unfair. But... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep using the machine gun type on these human fuckers. And save my plasma cutter for the monsters. Because for sure, I'd like to get through this part quickly and move on to the good stuff. Oh, hello. You fucking idiot. He literally walked into traffic. Backwards, I might add, but he did. Shit. I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. I know what I have to do. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. There you go. Really should have seen that coming. Oops. Oops is right. A funny oops, though. I, um... Ooh, what was that? Oh, I discovered an artifact. Okay. Artifacts are collectibles in this one. I'd almost forgotten about them. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what a bunch of dicks. Oh, okay. Now feels like the part where we'll switch to the plasma cutter. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become too many, with too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered it. The governments that we once trusted with our future have sabotaged it. To their eternal credit, we are dying. Fear not. There is a future. As promised. By the Prophet Michael Walton, the Black Marker has a plan for all of you. 
It will lift us up from our miserable existence, and we will become one. United in body and united in spirit, our unity will be our salvation. We will live on, not as men, but as God. <laughs> the Church of Unitology is waiting for you, my friends. Throw off the chains of this life and join us as the new one begins. I'm Jacob Arthur Dalek, and I am this message. Cool. So. Brothers and sisters. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, you know it. But why topple the government? Why Earth go? Danik blames them for experimenting with the marker. Thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. We once trusted with Ah, elevators. A dead space station. Also well known for being a hidden loading screen. But yeah. I do love this trilogy of games, though. Even if the third one does have its disappointing moments, I still like it, you know? This one's still alive. Bring him here. He has a bad habit of being captured for. by these guys. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter, in a matter of minutes. You or you could just save yourself some time like and put one see. between his eyes right now. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. That's the problem with all villains. As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you help. A lot of villains have a problem with uh, liking to monologue a bit too much because of their egos and stuff, instead of just, I don't know, killing the person that they want dead. So they open themselves up to that person being able to get away or survive, something like that, because they didn't just do what anyone else would do and just shoot them in the face as soon as they saw them. No, no, they had to tell them their whole evil plan first. Anyways, though, yeah, I know. I'm nitpicking tropes. <laughs> um, I also wanted to pause this real quick, though, just to say that they're on the moon. I think I forgot to mention that earlier, but this is an Earth colony that was built on the moon since Earth itself is no longer inhabitable. Okay. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No. No. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Well, then why don't you become a necromorph if you think it's so fun? Isaac, pay attention. Also, that dude is already dressed up for cold weather, like he knows we're going to the ice planet later or something. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. Good job. Now that that marker's been activated, though, I would not stay on this pile of corpses too long, because you know what happens to corpses once a marker gets activated. Piss nuggets. Oh shit. That's not what I said. I said piss nuggets. It's okay, I got this. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Speaking of Resident Evil, that one right there totally pulled a Resident Evil 4 slash 5 on me just now. Okay. Uh, I know, I harp on Resident Evil 5 and 6 a lot for their really ridiculous over-the-topness, but 
I gotta be honest. I would go back and play 5 and 6 again before I would ever go back and play the original versions of 1, 2, or 3 because they are so dated now. Tank controls, fixed camera angles, no way in hell, thank you. That's why I'm glad that uh, 2 and 3 are, uh, got those remakes. And part of me actually does kind of want to go back and play them again. I don't know why. After playing the Resident Evil 2 remake and with the upcoming 3 remake, it just kind of makes me want to go back and replay the whole thing, you know? Just for nostalgia. Watch the animated movies that go along with it, too. Like, uh, Degeneration and, uh, what was it, Retribution or something like that? Ah, fuck you! Uh-oh. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? He wasn't even trying to break the glass. He was just standing there trying to walk through it. And then when I broke the glass, he stood there staring for a second like, Whoa! You could have... I could have broken that this whole time? It wasn't until I shot his head off that he actually came for me. Like, what the fuck? Man, it did not take long for things to go wrong here. Keep in mind, by the way, that as soon as the marker activates, all the corpses become necromorphs, like, right away. And then, they turn other corpses into necromorphs, and it spreads like a virus. So, um, that's why a lot of these necromorphs that we're facing now are, like, fast and strong. All dead. Because they're young. got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. You know, they're not one of those, um... Necromorphs that's been a necromorph for a while and is now suddenly, like... You know... All... This is an emergency for For your safety, this area will be locked down until further notice. Help is on the way. Help is on the way, my ass. Ooh, another artifact. That one's a unitologist artifact. I love destructive environments. They're fun. Alright, you know me, I go the... Oh, well, it won't let me go the opposite way this time. It closed me off. How rude. I'll take that ammo, though. I cannot use a workbench yet. It is not available to me. It is not a, an option that I have the pleasure of choosing at the moment. Oh, well. Ooh, nice little... What is this? The Full Moon Shop. Oh, it's a souvenir shop. Yes, because we all live on the moon now, but we still need a, a souvenir shop for the moon. Hey, who wants again? Stupid thing. Scared the shit out of me. Lightspeed is delicious! The old light. Look at this, they really made a bustling society out of, uh... Out of, uh, the moon. <laughs> this looks like a, like a Chinatown type area, you know? Or something like that. Hey, I saw that! Come at me, bro Damn. Aha! Stasis on you. Stasis on your mama. Stasis on your grandmama. Stasis on your pet dog, Ralph. There's 
one of my old friends. Oh shit! You can't just be sneaking around from other areas that weren't in the front. The music hasn't stopped, so I know they're still around here somewhere. Oh, I almost missed that. Okay. Love it. All right, whoever comes at me next is getting skewered. I fucking warned you. Oh shit, he got back up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> huh. Alright. Hey, little buddy. Okay. That motherfucker! <laughs> I skew I pinned him to the wall. He fell back. He slowly got back up. He looked me right in the eye and said, "So, I see you have chosen death." Damn it. No trains. No trains. Okay, I made it to the train station. What about Danik's man? I lost him in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. We'll grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. I'm already steps ahead of you. Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. I know how to do it. not my first time playing this, you know. That's why they call it a replay. <laughs> okay. Well, basically, we just have to move some shit around so that these train cars attached it. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, and we're good to go. That should have been the end of it right there, actually. Yep. Initializing. Please board to the rear of the train. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh... Alright, Norton. The train's hooked up and ready to head out the south gate. You can't miss it. It'll be the only thing moving. Alright, understood. I'll close in once you clear the city. Be ready for pickup. This is gonna be tricky. Alright, time to write the choose You haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now's not the best time, I think. Is she alive? Last I saw her was at Keyhole Station. She said she was on to something big, shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well. She's still alive, and mad as hell we haven't found her yet. Hmm, and exactly how well do you know Isaac's ex-girlfriend? Huh? Fucking unitologists. Ah, here comes the cavalry. Norton, which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. I can't fucking aim when everything is wobbling. Shit, lost the main battery. Isaac, get your ass up here. Hold them off forever. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot I was crouched. Fighting. Yeah, 
you know what? I just realized with the human characters, I should just be able to use the plasma cutter to shoot their heads off and kill them once, right? Just decapitate them and be done with them. And yet another colony Who's that? full of Boy. Earth's what's left of kid ah. He's behind. dead. Dad had killed him. Sorry, I can't words. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't be. We're not friends. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Whatever, I'm playing right, single player yeah. anyway, so Good. fuck. We're you. almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. Blah blah blah. Blech. Oh, chapter two on your own. The USM Eudora. This is actually a really good stopping point. I kind of want to make these episodes an hour long each, but at the same time, I'm, I know what a good stopping point is, you know? I, uh, a bookmark, as, as you will, you know? If I was to keep going here, it would probably be a while before the next stopping, uh, next good stopping point, and, uh, then we would, uh, we would definitely, um, get over an hour, so, um, but expect episodes of this to be up to an hour long. I will just determine whatever I think is a good stopping point based off of, uh, uh, what's the way to word it? Um, thematic pauses, I guess you could say. Uh, considering everything's quiet now and we're about to start a new section in the story after that action-based explosion stuff that just happened. But anyways, <clears throat> I'd be curious to know what you guys think of the game so far. Do you like it so far, or do you think that so far it's kind of maybe a little too action-y compared to its predecessors and a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a, a far jump from what we're used to in this franchise? Let me know, I'd be curious to hear. Uh... However you feel, either way is perfectly fine, you know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Taste is subjective, after all. Um, but I hope you'll stick with me through this game uh, as we finish it up and wrap up the uh, Dead Space franchise. But like I said, yeah, let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments down below, and uh, we'll get back to it next Friday. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like, and as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye!